Hey everybody, we're back in the world of Don't Starve. I have set my taskbar to auto hide so that it's no longer covering up my icons at the bottom. And what was I trying to do? I don't necessarily know if I remember. So we'll just start by gathering some stuff. Can't go wrong with that. So I do want to find some spiders that are nearby so I can start getting silk from them. Not that they would be amenable to that, but we won't ask them if they care or not. Now watch, there'll be more rocks down here. There's more bunnies. Baby. That's good, there's another grasslands down here. Oh, I need to eat something. You can see that's uh, stale now. So you can see uh, it's less uh, useful than it was before. And you see, this has niter in it, which I'm not entirely sure what to do. I'm sure there's recipes out there for that. What the heck are these things? Huh. I don't necessarily want to mess with those guys. All right, well, that's good to know they're down there. Now, if I get enough logs, I can make wood armor, basically, which isn't bad. here and see if there's any bunnies that have been caught. We have plenty of time. There's a bunny rat. What happened to my fire? I guess I didn't have enough for a fire. Pit. That's right. Now I do. No, I don't. I need wood. Let's go get some. Alrighty then. Now we can build a fire pit. There we go. Some more carrots. Good for your eyesight. Chop down a couple more trees. Okie artichokes. Whoops. Ah. And we can cook a rabbit. And cook another rabbit. So let's see what's in here. So we got some gold, we got a torch, we got some reeds. I can put the ash in there. I'm not going to need that on a regular basis. The living logs, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing with them. Niter I can put in there. And everything else seems like I can use it. 
and that was a quick night. So let's plant some trees while we're here. trees. And you'll see those little trees I've just planted up oh, in the wax. Turn into small sized regular trees after a while. My fire's still going, I put way too much wood on there. So there's some land over there, I guess I can just go around and check that out. And just kind of seeing where everything is. More traps, the better. Trap up here. Where's that? Oh yeah, it's caught there. That's where the beehive is for my friendly neighborhood bees. Oh, there's another bunny in here. That's funny. Yeah, your bunny rush. Yeah, they're too quick to catch. So, oddly enough, you can store rabbits in a chest. So I think I will do that right now. Now let's see what's let's see what science we can work. Uh, refine. Let's make some rope. Some boards. So survival log armor. Oh, backpack. That would be good. That gives me extra slots over here for carrying stuff, which is wonderful. Survival. What about log armor? Is that clo clothing. under survival or maybe it's under fight. There we go. Spear. That is a useful weapon. Logs. I need some rope. So, more science. So 
a lodge suit is very handy. You can't wear your lodge suit and the backpack at the same time. But that's okay. Some seeds. Some seeds. Get some more grass while we're down here. curious about those blue hounds. Wow, there's a lot of them. I don't necessarily want to mess with them. Let's head back. So you notice how certain animals are not active during dusk and some are, and then there's some that are not active during night. And the mushrooms are on that schedule too. Some mushrooms are active, quote unquote, during the day. And others are not. Where am I? Okay, I need to go over this way. So you can see uh, farming rabbits or hunting rabbits is a very useful thing to do. Do I have any logs? Yes, I do. I have plenty of logs. Let's see what, let's see what other science we can make. Tools. Shovel. Don't really need a shovel. Pitchfork. Razor. Don't really need that either. You can see it just switched from dust to night, so all the uh, birds left. So what do I need to... I can make a basic farm. I need manure from somewhere. Crockpot's good, so I can need charcoal and stone, which I can get. Not too bad. So we have our backup supply of rabbits. All right. So you can see that my trees I planted are now growing into regular standardy type trees. Have I been all the way down here? I don't think so. Hey, turkey. There's just a tree down there. Have I been down that far? No. So that probably loops around. on fire. Let's not set ourselves on fire. Is this going to spread? Alright. You see how it's burning the twigs and stuff like that? That's something you want to try to avoid because I don't think you can replace those. But this will make a nice area to plant trees for charcoal. So we take our axe, and you get charcoal. Pine cones. 
Oops. So kind of what I'll do. Can't plant them too close. Where's my... There they are. So I'll plant a little cluster of these. A corpse of trees, if, if you will. I get one right in here. Look at that. Look at that precision. Alright. That'll be a good charcoal farm. Now, you can have traps all over the place, but I think the game only uh, activates the rabbits and whatnot that are relatively near you. So it doesn't really benefit you to put traps all over the place. But it doesn't hurt, you know, especially if you revisit an area uh, frequently. Yeah, so this will come all the way out to here, which is what I saw before. So it's getting close to dust, so we'll head back up. I'm not sure if I have enough charcoal to make anything, but it's a good start. Oh, you know what this is? A uh, touchstone. This will give you an extra life, so if you die, you will respawn right here. back up here. I think it moves slightly faster on the trail. Yes, you do. You can tell. Oh, here's a bunny. Oh, the berries have respawned. That's good. I don't think there's a way you can make charcoal other than setting trees on fire, if you know what I mean. So let's see what we got now. So I have enough charcoal for the drying rack, but not for the crock pot. Let's make a drying rack. All I need is rope. And you'll see the little light bulb pop up here when I have enough. There you go. And I can murder a rabbit. And dry it. And that'll make like jerky or something. So 
I can put the charcoal. I can't put the charcoal in here. Let's see, do I have a, I don't have enough wood to make something. I can cut some of these trees I planted down. Fine. Board. Board. And I have enough for a chest. I can make a sign. Doesn't really help. Make a pig house. We put pine cones in the fire. So, I'll put the charcoal in here. Uh, is there anything else I don't need right away? Put the ash in the other one. Okay. So... That's the touchstone down there, right there. Let's see, and then there's rocks, I guess, up here. So let's see if we can find some more rocks. There's a rabbit, I'll get that on the way back. Those graves, I think those are graves, not rocks. I think those are the rocks up there. So let's just head up this way. A lot of pigs in this map. Oh, here's a source of spiders. There's a mandrake there too. All right, so what we're gonna do, put some traps on the edge of these spiders. I caught one. It just goes back. So how much? Oh, we don't even have enough for more than one. So I got monster meat, which is not useful. Use that for bait. So it would help if I had more grass, obviously. And I got a silk gland. This is how you can basically kite the spiders. All right, I got some silk. All right, let's get the, oh, there's more spiders up here. Okie dokie, artichoke. And that's it for that one. Any rocks, 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 rocks. Is there something behind here? There's more mandrake here. And evil flowers. Oh, there's one of those living wood trees. There's some more rocks. You can see the uh, pig has wandered into a spider web. And now they're fighting with each other. So you can use that to your advantage. I'm going to have to cut down these trees to get the rest. Pigs are pretty tough. And now that pig is dead.
And you can tell how big the uh, nest is by how many levels that spider thing has. I think it goes up to three. So I have not been this way at all. Oh, look, here's a uh, beefalo. You can harvest their manure. They're normally not, not hostile. Don't see any manure here to harvest, which is unfortunate. Use that to build farms and other things. Alrighty, let's get some grass while we're up here. Another pig up there. I guess we should start heading back, otherwise we're not going to get back in time. So good, this was very useful. will come out soon, which makes this area a little bit unpleasant. Okay, good. Now go away, spider. So it's kind of neat to see, like, the third-party interaction. third-party interaction between the uh, various uh, factions, if you will. And you can use that to your advantage, one group fighting another group. So yeah, there's my camp right there. We've got a little bit of time left. Bunnies. So I think you can keep bunnies indefinitely in chests, I think. Alright, let's light the fire. Where's my wood? Right here. We're good. All right, let's see what science we can do. So we can refine stuff. Stop it. Uh, we can refine stone, which is something we'll need. And that's it. Find a rope. So I just have rope. So food. So I have stone, so I need more charcoal. So. Next episode, we will make a crock pot. Is my thing done yet? I guess it is. So this is a small jerky, which I believe keeps for a long period of time. All right, so this is Wilson and I at night uh, bidding you farewell, and we will see you next time on Don't Starve.